The year of the horse is about to begin and across town the party is in full swing. Huge crowds of revelers are gathering not only at the numerous fairs throughout the city, but also at religious sites to pray for a happy and prosperous new year. <laughs> Saying goodbye to the year of the snake and ushering in the year of the horse. And while you're at it, why not pray for some divine help to ensure everything goes well in the new year? That's exactly what thousands are doing tonight as they made their way to Wong Tai Sing Temple to burn incense and make offerings. And over at the Lunar New Year Fair at Victoria Park, a slightly different mood. After their family reunion dinners tonight, huge crowds have gathered there to celebrate. With the fair open until 6 a.m., the mood is all about partying and horsing around. The crowds arrived early today, spirits were high and celebratory on this beautiful but unusually hot day. And despite the high temperatures and sometimes high prices for flowers and souvenirs, many people were not deterred from snapping up whatever they could get their hands on. It's very crowded and it's very hot today. I think it's the hottest Lunar New Year. I plan to buy some cushions. Some of them are pretty amazing. Or well, probably buy some orchid flowers and, you know. Do you always come every year? Uh, yeah, 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 bring the kids and families. Although there is a wide variety of products on sale here at Victoria Park's Lunar New Year Fair, this is by tradition a flower market. And as you can see behind me, flowers remain hugely popular. <laughs> Indeed, despite the myriad of products available, auspicious flowers and horse-inspired toys are in high demand. This vendor said he was afraid he was going to run out of stock. The festive mood and the spending are expected to continue through the evening as many families are expected to flock to Victoria Park and other fairs around town after their family reunion dinners tonight.